people welcome back to my channel guys for another pickups video and uh yeah it's a reasonably sized uh pickups video i went to uh quite a few shops this time two different cx's cash converters uh and a couple of charity shops or at least a couple of charity shops uh let's see if i can try to remember prices and what have you i will try my hardest guys so uh where did i go first well First of all, I went to cash converters because this was actually uh, yesterday when I went to cash converters. Let's have a look what I got there, shall we? Uh, it's a mixed bunch uh, of... Oh, we were not a mixed bunch, really, because it's just 360 games and DS games, guys. So we'll start with the DS games. First one is Dual Quest Expeditions. Now these usually hold a bit of value, the old Geo Quest game, so 99p there guys. I was bought, I was going to get it straight away. You know me, I love these kind of games. I know I'm a big girly, I love them, love them, love them. All these kind of match three type games, I do love them. I like to have a, to have a quick play on them, they're fun. And that one, there's the back, is in the Geo Quest series, and that's always a, a winner in my book. And it is complete with book and i do believe the black pamphlet might be there yeah the black pamphlet's there as well guys so stoked to, to get that one complete like that and as i say i don't care what anybody says i like them so there you go dual quest expeditions brilliant and in that same vein guys the next one is dual match <laughs> so yeah this is another dual match three type game uh, a bit more basic this one but again, 99p. I'm going to pick it up all day long. Because I do love them. But 99p again, guys. For these dual games that usually hold a bit of value in CX. But yeah, brilliant. They're usually about four quid in CX. So, save myself three quid on each. There we go. Black pamphlet and book there. Complete. Brilliant. Yeah, fantastic that. So this was uh, a cash converters in Chatham, guys. So, yeah, blind in. 99p. Then the last of the DS from uh, Chatham, uh, cash converters in Chatham. And that is a Seven Wonders, guys. Again, it's a franchise I love. I do believe this is Seven Wonders, the second one. Oh, I'd have to rip the sticker up, guys. But I do believe it's the second one, yeah. The Seven Wonders. Nice little elements to this one. Very, very intriguing indeed. So, yeah, fantastic again. See what's in there? Yeah, it's got everything there, guys. Book, black pamphlet, and something else in the back there as well. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, health and safety warning. There you go. So, yeah, that is as complete as can be. Fantastic. Yeah, so that was uh, my little trip to... Uh, Chatham cash converters uh, yesterday. It paid off very nicely. Yep, I was only down there having a little look around the charity shops, really, and there was absolutely nothing in Chatham. Nothing at all. It's always a shame. Well, there was a couple of games, I do believe, in uh, Sue Rider, but they were uh, all over the top priced, and they were all sports titles, or ones I had already, so yeah. Yeah, not much cop, and they weren't even label upgrades or anything like that, so... Yeah, so that was yesterday, guys. Um, oh, no, I'm telling a lie. Oh, I only showed you the DS games from Cash Converters. I do apologise. No, there was three 360 games as well. Again, 99p, guys. Here's the first one, and it's Smackdown. Now, I think this is a label upgrade. If not, then I haven't got this one. I've got Smackdown 2 or whatever the hell. Yeah. So, yeah, nice condition 99p guys it's always a bit of fun this game as far as i'm concerned and it is complete 
with book. So that's lovely. Don't know if there's anything else there. Oh yes, there's some other bits there as well. Look, some other bits and bobs in the back as well. I'm not too sure what that does. Oh, it could even be the DLC in there, guys. I don't know. Might not have been used. Who knows? So yeah, 99p for that one. Brilliant. And pay that all day long. Fantastic. Yeah. Then the next one on uh, yeah Xbox 360 from Cash Converters in Chatham is uh, Vikings. What was that? Battle for Ang Asgard? Asgard, isn't it? Yeah, Vikings Asgard. So Battle for Asgard. Now, I do have this one, and again, it's pretty tatty, so this was a label upgrade again. A 99p. Fantastic condition. Again. Lovely. And it is complete with bug, guys. Again. So, fantastic. That. And I can't believe I actually forgot these games, guys, because the next one is uh, the doozy, in my opinion, out of this lot. There we are. Yeah. Now, this last one, guys. I've always been a big fan since the beginning of the uh, the Xbox 360, really, of the darkness. I love the darkness. Fantastic bloody game. Loved it, loved it, loved it to death. Uh, loved the darkness too as well. Um, but I always wanted that special edition I'd seen once. Uh, that has a hologram front to it. Well, lo and behold, for uh, 1.99 in cash converters yesterday, they had it, guys. I don't know if that's going to show very well there on camera. Let's get it out of the light a bit. Can you see that, guys? There's the hologram cover. The limited edition hologram cover there. So, yeah, that was fantastic to find that. It's not in the most fantastic of conditions, as you can see there. But I've got it. I've got it at last. So I was very, very pleased with that one. Let's see if I can get it out of the box. To show you that it is complete with something. Yeah, it might not be complete, guys. Depends if it came with a book in the first place. Oh, no, that is the book, guys. That is the book as well as a cord on the front. And a bit of a game sticker stuck to the book. Oh, I'll get that off later. Oh, there we go. Got it off. There we are. So, yeah, fantastic, guys, to get that one. So it appears to have all the DLC in there as well. Probably been used. But um, what I wanted it for was that damn cover so yeah that is fabulous i was really really pleased to get that so that is the cash converters lot done now so yeah chatham cash converters done and dusted and that was yesterday so the rest of it is all from today guys and um, i think we'll start with the charity shops now i want to start here because this is a cautionary uh, warning to everybody who shops in charity shops and for that matter cash converters at times now they all have a habit of sticking sellotape around the boxes don't they so that you can't nick anything out of them well i went into i do believe it was who was it oxfam yeah oxfam guys and bought quite a few titles in there one of them was uh, it's only bloody pez 6 pro evolution soccer 6 for 49p sellotaped felt nice and heavy that's all i can test it by really you're not going to stand there and open them in front of maya the old deer would have a heart attack wouldn't she so yeah but then when i got it home only as a case and knackered you can see hello i've got a mouth but yeah um yeah the umd was missing guys the umd was missing out of it um nothing i can do about that obviously I'm not going to take it back to a charity shop. It's 49 bloody pence. And I'd have to go all the way back to Gillingham. Because this is in Gillingham, guys. These charity shop finds and half of the, the CX finds are from Gillingham. Because I went over there today. I thought, you know what? I'm going to go out a bit further and get myself over to Gillingham. Uh, and yeah, Cautionary tale, guys. That's This can happen. Uh, and most of the charity shops are still taping them up these days, so there's not much we can do about it. So, mm, it's an unfortunate one, but at least it happened to a crap title. At least I've got a box, I suppose, and book for nearly 50p. Oh, but anyway, the rest of them in there were quite good. Uh, and quite good, as in at least the discs are bloody there and what have you. Um... 49p again guys, PS3, FIFA 11. 
only picked it up because I haven't got it and it was 49p so yeah nice condition considering it's a FIFA game do tend to get treated like crap and it is all there guys even something in the back let's have a look what that could be and this is just part of it I'm seeing no it was just part of it guys unless there is some sort of promotional gunk in there oh yeah there is look some promotional stuff there as well so yeah FIFA 11 49p it's a no-brainer I'm collecting it all guys so yeah I will pick them up at that price so yeah that's all right it's all right as can be now a couple of uh, xbox one games here 99p these ones um again from the same shop from oxfam in gillingham and this is fifa 15 for the xbox one see what it's 99p that's all right that's all right and it is yeah it's complete guys with everything that should be there really i'm sure yeah so yeah what are you going to say it's fifa 15 and i paid 99p for it on the xbox one that's okay then <laughs> carrying on that uh, line there uh this is fifa 16 for the xbox one this is the deluxe edition up to 40 premium gold packs apparently again 99p can't go wrong there we go don't know what's special about it if anything deluxe edition and it is complete with everything again yeah everything's there you can open it up and see the stuff in the back there yeah so yeah again guys brilliant for 99p one to add to the collection of uh, my very very small in comparison to some of my collections xbox one collection so yeah that's fine he says looking over at them and it's actually getting bigger by the minute okay right then i went into i do believe it was who was it see if there's a price anywhere here no no prices there um i do believe it was the melza house but in gillingham again so here's the first one um they're all 50p guys and there is one two three four five of them so the first one is Brian Lara Cricket 2007. Probably got it already, but it would be a label upgrade if I have, because this is in very nice condition. That's it, 50p. And it is complete with book and tons and tons of bump in the back. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, very complete, guys. That is fantastic. Don't mind that at all. Maybe I haven't got this one. Maybe I've got another year. Who knows? And the next one is... Uh, Torino 2006. Torino. Hmm, Torino 2006. But it does appear to be... Winter sports. Yeah, so I presume it's a Winter Olympics or something, is it? Who knows? But 50p again, guys. Didn't have it. That's fine. Blind in. There we go, there's the back. Yeah, it's all wintery stuff, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I was very pleased with that. And it is complete. With everything. I sometimes find these quite fun, the Winter Olympic type ones. And the skiing and what have you. So yeah, really, really quite chuffed with that one. That's fine. For 50 pence, and I didn't have it, so yeah. Excellent. Then, it's, uh, what's that? Gaelic Games Hurling. Hmm. Gaelic Games Hurling. All right, Gaelic Games Hurling. One I'd never heard of, guys. Never, ever heard of it. Then 50p blinding, you know. For one I haven't got. A very unusual title, but there you go. What was even better, though, was, guys, when I opened it. Oh, yeah, you've got a game sticker there. Again, that. When I opened it, it is actually a double feature, guys. There's this one here as well. Fundu Hurling Res Resources. W whatever that is. And then there's the game behind. So yeah, fantastic. And it does appear to have its book with it. Oh yes, its book is complete as well. So yeah, 
brilliant that then the extra disc as well that could be interesting yeah so i'm really pleased with that one for 50p never heard of it yeah great it's always nice to add to the collection guys even if it's an obscure one like that like hurling oh, and gaelic hurling mm, okay gaelic games hurling even uh this is another one that i might have already but again it's a bloody nice condition box even though it has got the oh the dreaded old way of game putting the flipping stickers on the spine that was always so bloody annoying i'm so glad they don't do that anymore and inside onto the bloody paper what is that all about it's all-star baseball 2002 but yeah it's in lovely condition otherwise i don't know if i'm going to be able to lift that we might just have to live there and be a bit of retail archaeology there for us yes it is complete guys so fantastic complete web book you can see a lot of noise and i can see a lot of noise i swear to god i'm losing the plot you can hear a lot of noise uh, because the kids have just got in from school because they're all back now and they're all slowly but surely coming in that is oliver no doubt running around there we are guys fantastic 50p and the last one from that lot deceiving this one it's got all the kex stickers on it but um yeah it isn't from there it is from the same place guys it is from um who was it i said again who did i say it was oh i can't demelza house that's it uh nutrition matters <laughs> i told you i buy the weirdest crap and i do i still do buy the weirdest crap i know that a very good friend of mine retro bear he's starting to mm, minimize it a bit and he doesn't want to pick up all this trash but i've I'm still doing it, I'm afraid. And will be for a while yet, I'm sure. There we go. But yeah, it's in all right condition. Yeah. I mean, what's to say about it? It's complete with disc and black pamphlet, guys. And it's Nutrition Matters. we all got to know that, haven't we? Yeah, it was one for the collection, guys. A shelf filler. As usual, a shelf filler. Honestly, honestly, I'm not mad. All oh, right, okay, so we're going to move on now to today again. And it's 2CX this time. But I'm just going to pause for a second while I say hello to my children and be back. Right, hello's done. Um, yeah, we're going to carry on now with... Um, I'm actually going to do it in reverse, guys. I went to Gillingham CX first, because I was there anyway. I wasn't I looking at the charity shop somewhere. I've been had a little potter around there, because I haven't been for a little while. Um, but the smaller lot is from the uh, Chatham CX. So I'm going to do them first. I did that later on in the afternoon. I came back and, uh, yeah, and had a potter around there as well. And picked up three titles. I actually went for one in particular that I'd spotted in there. Um, we'll get to that last. Uh, first of all, I picked up Victorious Boxing Challenge for 75 pence. Very, very surprised I didn't have this one already on the way, guys. Very, very surprised. So I was very pleased to pick that up. Another one to add to the collection. Very surprised. You know me, guys. I love a good boxing game. Is it a good boxing game? Never played it, so I wouldn't know. Have you played it? Let me know. Looks uh, peculiar, that character, that's for sure, doesn't he? Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go and get you. Scary. Yeah, uh, it's complete. I'm just going to put the book in front of the black pamphlet because they seem to have decided to do it the wrong way around. Come on, get back in there. That's it. There we are, guys. Yeah, complete with book. And, yeah, black pamphlet there. There we are. So, yeah, fantastic one to add to the collection, guys. Is it any good? Let me know, or is it a pile of evil trash? <gasps> He's scary, he is. So he looks bloody scary, that's for sure. Then the next one, guys, is uh, Movie Studios Party. I think I've got this one. Uh, if I have, it's a label upgrade, because this is in fantastic condition. It really is. But then you know me, I might be completely wrong, and I haven't got it at all. Not keeping up my list, and I haven't been for a long time. And it's going to all collapse on me in the end when I have way too many games. Because I keep buying them double. So yeah, 75p guys. That is brilliant. Well, no, it's probably not brilliant. It's probably bloody awful, isn't it? Hmm. I haven't played it. Even if i got it already, I haven't played it. Let me know, is it good? It's a bit of fun at least. And it is complete with everything even though 
yeah it's all in a little bit of the wrong place again is it yeah there we are look there's the book behind and i do believe the black pamphlet yeah black pamphlets there as well guys so yeah it is complete as can be so that is fantastic mm. <laughs> especially for 75 pence guys that's uh, that's absolutely fine isn't it? right last one from uh chatham cx and this is the one i went back for because i saw this and i thought to myself i've got to have that i've got to go back and get it i didn't have time at the time when i spotted it i couldn't queue up in the long queue that was there at the time so i had to come back and hope to god it was still there because this is in fantastic condition this is a boxed copy of marble madness for the uh, nez for the nintendo entertainment system and look at that box it might not be mint but it's bloody fabulous i'm so used to having crushed nez uh, boxes this is fantastic look at the condition on that even the bottom guys look it is superb so i was really really pleased um i saw him when he opened it up and checked it a bit and i thought well the book's got to be there look at the bloody condition of it. it's got to be there and uh yeah i saw him mucking about a bit and i realized that the uh, the old black slave was there as well and i thought yeah definitely gonna be there no it's not the book is missing guys believe it or not in that condition the bloody sodding book is missing i couldn't believe it when i got it home that you even got it might be a replacement one because look virgin sticker on there for 29.99 yeah virgin 29.99 not sure if that's a replacement one or if they just put in a blank one without nintendo written all over it or what but the uh yeah the label is little bit peeling up in that corner there which is a bloody shame as well I tell you it was a bit of a shocker to me actually that um it had that problem with the label and that the sodding book was missing but you know what it is fantastic to get any boxed nes game guys these days and i'm going to leave that on again for re retail archaeology so yeah i was uh, pleased to get it as such bit disappointed with uh, how it turned out with no book and the label damage but otherwise yeah I was very pleased to get a boxed in that nicer condition copy of Marble Madness the absolute and utter classic yeah fantastic so that was that one yeah so that was Chatham guys Chatham CX right the rest of it the whole kit and caboodle here is from the Gillingham one so we'll get on with that shall we because there's quite a bit here guys right okay back in a sec sorry more children came home and I had a quick vape ah, but moving on now right okay so first up guys we have a copy of F1 World Grand and this always makes me laugh pricks grand pricks have you got a grand prick I've certainly got a grand prick. I've got it in my hand. Yay, playing with it. Uh, yeah, I've got this already. But this label's a lot cleaner. And uh, it doesn't look quite as faded. So, yeah, so that was the first one. Two quid from CX in Gillingham. So, N64 game first. Then we have, is it two? Yes, two uh, DS games. The first one is Top Trump's Horror and Predators. That's why I got it, because I thought that sounded quite interesting. And it was a quid. I know it's a Top, top Trump's game. It's probably bollocks, you know. I mean, what are you going to do with a video game of card game? We have a lot of them, don't we, anyway? What with Solitaire and God knows what else. But yeah, there we are, guys. Top Trump's. What was it again? Oh, Horror and Predators, that's right. So yeah, for a quick guys, I picked that up. But I could tell already by the weight, yeah, the book's missing. And it certainly is. There we go. But for a quid, it's another one to the collection, guys. So I was quite happy with that. Fine. Put that over there with the others. Then we have a absolute and utter label upgrade. Uh, I do have this already. It's a Zoob. And it's a pound again. 
there's a fantastic label upgrade this looks like bloody mint looks like new so i'm very pleased to pick that up for a quid i'm sure it's not the best game in the bloody world probably awful but i was glad to get a better condition one for a quid and it is complete good book and i do believe the bits might be in the back as well yeah there we go black pamphlets there at least so yeah that was fine with that guys a pound for that to get a nicer condition one yeah blinding i've been collecting these like a bloody diva haven't i the old uh, ds games and 3ds games and whatever so yeah nice to uh, get a little label upgrade isn't it always always nice now we're going back again guys here we go back to where we were with marvel madness um this is a game boy original game guys and it is pac-man look at the label on that and it's a black cart as well which i like look at the label fantastic that was six quid and you know i haven't been telling you the prices have i i really haven't that was six quid that one brilliant um let me go back marble madness was eight pound that's why i was quite pleased with that one being in the fantastic condition that it was because it was eight quid and i didn't mind paying that shame the book wasn't there and a little bit of label damage so i think that's the only one actually that i missed wasn't it it's, you know just shoot me if i missed more but yeah there we go that is uh yeah six quid for pac-man landing uh, then we have one I saw it sitting there and I've been after this for a while I really would have liked to have had it boxed but oh well I remember this game fondly I liked it I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but it's Animaniacs Lights Camera Action and it comes with its original book so I was very pleased with that to get the book as well let's pull him out a minute nice label again yeah lovely label on that one the yeah, Game Boy Advance game there, and that was six quid as well, guys, and that was with the book, so that is brilliant. Put him back under that elastic, so that's where he's going to live from now on. Put on display somewhere. Yeah, really pleased to get that after it for a while, like I say. Yeah, wicked, cool. Oh, there we go. It's dropping out already. Put him back and stick him over here. And there we go. Right, moving on to a. Uh, this game again guys this one's obviously loose this time and it is kickle cubicle is it yeah kickle cubicle hmm. kickle cubicle i have heard of it I and mean, i think i played it before but i just really liked the uh, look of it i can imagine i'm going to get some fun out of this one so yeah i was very pleased to pick that up I'm trying to see what kind of characters they are Oh, it's going to be some kind of puzzly game, I'm sure. Quote me if I'm wrong, guys, but it's in fantastic condition. Even the end, fantastic condition. Unlike, yeah, Marble Madness's label. So, yeah, what a shame. Shame Marble Madness wasn't in this condition, eh? Yeah, so that's a blinding one to add to the collection. Yeah, Kickle Cubicle. Blinding. I've definitely played it before. I recognise those characters and the name. Mm -hmm. It's probably a long time ago. That's why it's a little bit vague. But yeah, fantastic to have that one. Then another doozy, guys. Now, I've got this on the links. I've got it on the Game Gear. I do believe I've got it in other places as well, probably. But definitely on the links in the Game Gear. And it's Put and Putter. And this is on the Master System. And it is boxed. Hey, a boxed one, and it was a fiver, guys. A fiver. Did I tell you how much Kickle Cubicle was? I don't think I did, did I? That one, guys, was... Wait, he says... That was six as well. So, yeah, I was pleased with that. Do you believe it was six? No, it wasn't. It was not six. I'm lying to you. This was £3.50. £3.50, that one. Hmm. So, blinding. Yeah, £5 for this one, guys. But... The beautiful thing about this one is it might not be the most stellar of titles for the Mars system, but I collect in anything I can get my hands on on the Mars system. It is complete with book. And in fact, is it books? What else is under it? Ooh. Ooh, look what we've got under there. 
There's your book. Wicked. But here, there's some kind of poster. Let's open that up and have a little gander, shall we? Oh, I love it when you find things like this, guys. Don't you love it when you find stuff like this? The Sega catalogue. Oh my god, like when we had the Atari 2600 one, I did a video on, wasn't it? I mean, there wouldn't be enough for a video here, but there's enough for you to have a quick look at, isn't there? Look at that. Hopefully you can see it all right. Oh, that is blinding. I can't get over that being there. That's fantastic. And inside we've got, oh, lots of different games and things. Look, I'll hold it up as best I can. And you can always pause it and have a look if you want. If you can, he says. There we go. That is fabulous. Look at that. Brilliant. And then the back, guys, is even better. Look at that. There's all the hardware. By this time, it was the uh, Master System 2, of course. Oh, I've got these, yeah. Oh, and the Game Gear there and Mega Drive. Brilliant, the original Mega Drive. Oh, that is, that, that is just fabulous, guys. I'm so pleased when you find bits like that in there. And, of course, the game. <laughs> oh, that, that's, that, that has made my flipping day, guys, having that in there, that catalogue. I love it when those bits are there. Love it. It's such a shame when they always go missing. And to find one and be able to step back in time a bit and have a look at it is just a doozy. So yeah, I was very pleased to pick that up, guys. Even more pleased now for a fiver. And it's got the catalogue in there. What a little extra bonus that is. Hidden gem, literally. Yeah. So that's that one. Now we're on to original Xbox, guys. Uh, this one was a pound. It's a rain, rain of fire. Let the battle begin or something. I think it says under that label there. Uh, I've got this on PS2, I think, but uh, not on original Xbox, so I was very pleased to pick that up for a quid. Yeah, fantastic. That's going to take a lot to follow. That old uh, mouse system came in it with a catalogue in there. Ooh, hard act to follow. There we go, complete with book, which is great. Anything else? No, just a book, guys. There we are. Brilliant. Rain of fire. Uh, yeah. I know people can... Oh, yeah, very marmitey about this one, aren't they? Even the film is a bit marmitey, isn't it, for some people? But I like it. It's brilliant. Then we have, yeah, Return to Castle Wolvenstein. Tides of War. This one was £3. Now, I've got this on the PS2. I do believe I've got it on the PS2, but I haven't got it on this. Not on the original Xbox, so I was very pleased to pick that up. Three quid. I love this franchise anyway. Love it to death. Even on the 3DO, it's fantastic, and on the Atari Jaguar, uh, yeah, brilliant. Love, love, love the franchise. So, there we are, guys. Brilliant. And it is complete with book. There we go. Superb. So, yeah, pleased to pick that one up. Have a look at the back again. There we go. Superb. Then it is, oh, I do love these completions, guys. These, these compilations, completions. Compilations, you know I talk gibberish. Uh, for £1.50, guys, it's the uh, the Midway Arcade uh, Treasure. Now, I've got this on other things. I might even have it on the Xbox already, but it'll be a definite upgrade if I do. Because I, I have a feeling I have got it, but the book's missing and the box is very tatty. So, yeah, I was very pleased to pick this one up because this weighs a ton. So, you just know it, don't you? Yeah, the book is there, guys. Fantastic. So, very pleased. Pick that one up. I mean, it's got a book from hell. Jesus, look at that, guys. Look at it. Oh, I'll fix that. But, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, even if it's just an upgrade, guys, that was well worth the uh, £1.50, wasn't it? What a collection of games as well. Oh, there's just some fabulous games on there. It really is. And then we have... Oh, he says, kicking the tripod again. I keep doing that, guys. Don't I? Kicking the bloody tripod. And now I've completely moved it out of the way. Look, oh, look, fighting with the tripod. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm done now. Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, it's a Big Mother Trucker. Truckers, even. And that is a pound. 
Yeah, that big mother truckers. I think they're quite fun. And it is complete with book. There we are. Brilliant. Brilliant. But it gets even better. Well, certainly for this franchise it gets better. Because I got, as well, Big Mother Truckers 2. Yeah, I picked that up as well while I was at it. That's a bit more. That one's £2, so double the price. But it is two. Big Mother Truckers 2. Yeah, and look, they've got a girl on the front, so yeah, that makes up for it, doesn't it? There we go. Again, the first one's quite fun. I do believe I played this one as well. She looks a bit like Daisy Duke there, really, doesn't she? But, um, yeah. She just hasn't got the shorts on. She's got a pair of knickers. But yeah, there we go, guys. Complete with book as well. So brilliant. Nice to have them both. Yeah. Put them over there as well. This, of course, is now PS2, by the way. I didn't tell you that. This is now on to PS2. Uh, next PS2 title is GTC Africa. That was a pound. Love, love, love racing games. So even if it's pants, I'm sure I'll get a bit of a play out of it. But it's missing its book, guys. Oh, wah, wah. Missing its book. Hopefully I'm not going to start kicking the bloody tripod again, eh? Hmm. Uh, this one is Mashed Fully Loaded. Again, surprised I didn't have this one already. Being a lover of this type of game. That is £1, that one, guys. Breaking the bank on that one. Yep. Well, that, it is complete with book. That's fantastic for that kind of game. I love them. There we go, there's the back. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get some fun out of that. Then we have a 50 p And we're on to the Wii guys. And it's the last four games. I bet you're thinking, oh, thank God for that, we finally got there. Uh, yeah, 50p guys, Battle of the Bands for the Wii. There we are, brilliant. Don't mind that at all, 50p. I mean, come on. It's going to be fun at least. And it is missing its book, but it's got its black pamphlet, as if that makes up for it. Not. Ugh. That's probably why it's 50p. There we are. Yeah. It's alright, nice to add it to the collection. And we have Speed Racer, the video game. I'm sure I've got this already, but I think it's a label upgrade because it's in fantastic, fantastic condition. It was £2, not the cheapest of the Wii games. There we are, so yeah, £2. You know me, I do like to pay about 50p for a Wii game usually, but £2, you sometimes just got to pay up a bit more, haven't you, let's be honest. There we go. And it is in fantastic condition, complete, with black book in the background. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Oh yeah, I didn't mind that for a label upgrade one little bit. There we are. Yeah. And down to the last two. Uh, this one is Tony Hawk Ride. A pound. Yep, brilliant. There we go, you can see the back there. <laughs> so there, a new way to ride. Yeah, of course I'm... I've been meaning to get all the one of these for bloody ages. I've got to get one. There we are, fantastic. And it is. Yeah, it's complete with black pamphlet rammed in the front. There we are, there's a the book. Yeah, that's great. Don't mind that at all. That's fine. Pound. Just got to get all the one of them. And the last game, guys, this is one I've heard so much about. When I saw it for a quid, I, it was a no-brainer. I had to grab it. And that is uh, Pangya, Panya, Pangya. I think it's Pangya Golf with style. It's a cutie golf game by all accounts. I do believe Retro Bears talked about this in the past. Uh, and about it's actually a really good game. 
a different element to it to the usual golf type game. So yeah, I shall have a bit of fun of trying that one out, guys. Yeah, fabulous. And it is complete. And it seems to have a hell of a lot of booklets in the back here. So have a look. Yeah, quite a few bits and bobs in the back there again. Yeah. So it is complete. Very, very pleased with that one. As I say, I heard so much about it. Had to grab it for a bloody quid. Then come on, even if you only get five minutes of fun out of it, it's going to be worth it, isn't it? Worth a quid? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, there we go, guys. Another pickups video and uh, quite a long stretched one that was. There was quite a bit there, wasn't there? Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it as usual. If you did, please make sure you're subscribed. Please comment, like, tap that bell icon and leave us a thumbs up guys and tap the all icon as well in case you don't get your notifications so there we go guys another pickups video done and dusted sorry it was a bit long-winded um obviously it covered two days and multiple shops so there we go mm. and with that i'm going to say of videos in choose and goodbye guys and i'll see you in the next one bye bye and i'll try not to keep kick the tripod as i'm leaving he says stumbling over his bloody words again bye bye